right, so we just got patch notes for GP. And uh, actually, not just, uh, it was a few hours ago, but translation just came in. Uh, new stuff coming out. Love it. Uh, main thing, you might have seen the title already. I already uh, saw as soon as the patch notes came out. You are gear for f finally for Ascanor. Ascanor was like the last character to get UR gear for good reason. Ascanor has the highest stats in the game. So giving him UR gear was, um, you know, uh, uh, something that they just couldn't just drop in very fast, right? But we're also getting two new characters new Monspeed and Fraudrin. No new Glox, Bon, or Helbrum. If you saw a few days ago, I posted a video with the uh, leaks for um, it was, uh, you know, uh, Fraudrin, Monspeed, it was Glox, Bon, and Helbrum. All five of them had some of their uh, info leaked, but Bon and Helbrum not in this patch, unfortunately. I was expecting Bon and Helbrum to be the summonable banner and then have Fraunger and Monspeed as coin shops, but let's, uh, let me take a look here and um, talk about it. So, Fraunger, what does he do? Uh, inflicts Shatter, which ignores resistance again. Uh, we talked about this in uh, 450. Ooh, so his single target. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. Let me let me um, skill filters. Let me go for shatter. Who else has single target for shatter? Single target. Um, you. Shatter. Okay, so his multipliers would be 180, 270, 7, uh, 450. So um, that's the, the multipliers you expect from him. Full bloom taunts enemies and reflect a hundred percent of damage taken for two turns. Interesting. No one has this. This is the first time someone is, someone gets this implemented, so we don't know level two and uh, one and two because this is level three, right? So level three reflect a hundred percent. Interesting. It's a it's a it's a double edged sword because if you're doing content that they don't get like let's say the enemy does like twenty thousand damage to you, right? He will reflect 20,000 damage. While if you were using Estarosa and you did his level 3, he would do like 100k back, right? But if the enemy is doing like a lot of damage, you're doing a lot back. But here's the thing, a lot of these contents, they don't really do much damage for like normals. They would do like from ultimates, right? The, but the ultimates, I'm assuming the reflect doesn't work because it's not always like that. Um, okay, but... Still good, it's still a taunt, it's still taunts. Like the thing is that with counter units, by them taunting it just makes it so much better. So here's a counter unit like a like a um like we we saw from the leaks. Not like Estoroso though, he has a different counter. I will I will you know uh, I will level 80 him as soon as he drops, so we'll see better how his taunt is gonna work. But just by looking at the info, I'm assuming Estoroso is still gonna be a better counter unit, but he's still gonna be really good. But yeah. Alt, we already know what it is from the other one, the place to ult gauge. Passive, when the hero dies, removes debuffs from all allies and... Okay. Huh. Interesting that they would go for with that as his passive. He is a taunt unit, so every attack is going for him. And if he dies, he, he um, get, gives ult gauge from all allies. That's a really good combo. Because if he takes way too much damage and ends up dying, then he uh, ends up helping all the allies. That's a really good combo. The only other unit you know, that has something like this in the game is Elizabeth, the blue one. But hers is different. When the when the hero dies, heals HP of all allies and then removes debuffs and fills the alt cage. So his is the same, but doesn't have the healing unless it was um, unless my friend Oki didn't put it here. Interesting. Similar passive, right? Very interesting passive combined with his taunt. I like this unit. I, I, again, the, the counter, I'm assuming it's not as good as Estorosis, but still a counter. And uh, the combo of him dying, if he takes much, much damage, it's a very interesting combo. Much better than the other Fraugen. The other Fraugen is laughably bad. Like, this guy right here is laughably bad. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about this Fraugen is that he's going to have the same stats as this one. So, he's going to have not very good CP, his 10% pierce rate, okay resistance. Um, actually, pretty good reasons. 50% is pretty good. 0% uh, lifesteal I don't like. So his counters are not gonna heal. Like, Estorosa has a lot of lifesteal. Not only... Uh, doesn't matter. He has like base 15. I think he gets like 18 with the, his uh, star system. But if you combine him with uh, uh, Meliodas, which... 
I'm pretty sure the green is Tarosu. Meliodas gives um, life steal, yeah. Which was a mistake, but they kept it like that. So probably player of mistake, right? So he has like a lot of life steal. Or Bond, you can also pair up with Bond. He has a lot of life steal, uh, which helps him out, right? So he takes a lot of damage uh, by being taunting, right? But he deals a lot of damage back and ends up healing a lot as well. So Crouch is very interesting though. Now, Mon Speed. Flame Ball inflicts weak point and um, deals to. Okay, so he has the same attack skill as uh, Green Jericho. That's very interesting. Weak point is a very good ability, especially when in single target. He has the same monster, he's gonna be 110, uh, 165 and 275. And then Blackfire inflicts damage to 260 to one enemy. The police are ult gauge by two. Deletes two skills? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I was like. I was like, there's no this multiplier is very low because um, you notice that they played old cage like Helber, right? They go up to uh, 450. So I was like, that's that's weird, 260. But he deletes skills. Interesting. He's the first unit playable unit because we had we have enemies that do that, PVE enemies that do that. But as a playable character, it's the first one that deletes skills. That's very interesting. So I'm assuming level one doesn't delete any skills. Level 2 deletes 1 skill. I wonder if the level 1 still depletes Old Cage. I hope it does. If not, his level 1 card is going to be super weak. But we'll see. Very interesting. Um, okay, ultimate, well, we know what it is. Move stances, applies ignites. It's a very bad ultimate. Very bad ultimate. Uh, both him and Fraudion have not very good ultimates. Uh, passive unique, Master of Hellfire. Blah, blah, blah. Increases damage dealt by 100% if attacking enemy has Ignite. Oh! But he doesn't apply Ignite though. <sighs> but here's the thing if you have him and Green Escanor, which applies Ignite, right? Escanor can Ignite, and he has weak points, so he's gonna do triple damage on top of the 100%. 100% is a lot, it's, 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 um, we'll see, w with the uh, weak point plus the 100%, he could be looking at a good nuke with his level 3 card. Uh, like, <sighs> nukes by level 3 cards, of course, are not gonna hit as much as nukes by ults, right? Like Green Jericho or Derriere, but still a very interesting card. Coin shop, so both of these guys will be in the coin shop, so you don't have to worry about summoning for them. They are gonna have a banner, which is this one. Um, big big tanks for comeback, whatever. Um, the banner will have all the coin shop units, including... Oh, it's not including... Oh, there's not gonna be Fraugen or, um, or uh, Monspeed in here. Okay. They're not gonna be in the banner. It's 7%?! Ah, oh, I want to summon! Oh. But I already have Merlin, um, Gopher, King, 6-6. Six, six. But it's 7% and so many units are good. That's a... Oh. And there are, there are only... there's These are the only units featured in the banner. Oh, this is a very difficult to skip banner. You can do a max of 10 multis in this banner. Interesting. I wonder... Because there's no single pulls... I wonder if they'll give us tickets? Because it's like the case from the Arthur banner. I have, J I have JP open right here. Let me just, um, I'll, I'll just quit this mission. Um, the Arthur banner, which gave us free tickets, right? Free multi-tickets, doesn't allow you to do uh, singles either. I wonder if they'll give us tickets. Yeah, they don't allow you to do singles. This banner does. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Um, 7%! Oh! Okay, um, there will be packs. If you don't want to buy Fraudrin or Monspeed from the coin shop, you can buy a pack. It costs 100 bucks. Um, it gives you 30 of the HD raid material. Not very good. I, I recommend. Just, I mean, you can, if it, you know, it's your money. You can do whatever. But I personally would not buy this, the packs. I'll just buy them from the coin shop. Um, 
uh, new uh, just event thingy. New engravement finally for Escanor. Escanor finally has his engravement. I am ready. I have the jet, the uh, purple thingies ready to sit to get all six of his things. You are. That's gonna be good. Finally, Escanor has you are gear. I wonder what's gonna be the max CP now because um, Escanor was really you know getting uh, everyone's CP back because everyone was waiting for his you are gear. Well, we'll see. Um, skills are removed buff on enemies. The following has been changed. Remove. Okay. Hmm. Inflicts damage to 220, blah, 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 blah. Removes buffs from one enemy inflicts 220. Okay, so I guess their, their skill is changing, the, the the first one. Oh! So they're, they're gonna remove... Oh, that's such a good buff. That's such a good buff. Because here's the thing, right? Especially this new, this coin shop ga gallon, right? Um, They remove buffs, but only on level 2. So it's like... It's 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 not a bad skill, but it's not nearly as good. Wait, wait. What about Askunor? He's not mentioned here, but Askunor also removes buffs. Askunor also removes buffs on his um, ignite card. But so I'm guessing only people that ju just remove buff and don't do anything else. Because Askinor also removes buffs. And my honestly, if he removed buffs on level one, it would be way too strong. So I'm actually glad he doesn't get this buff. It would be way too strong if he did. Um, like he already applies the ignite, and he's so used already, right? Um, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm thankful they didn't actually buff him like that. But it's an interesting thing, he doesn't get the buff. Wow, you know. Uh Dreyfus got it. Gilla. Interesting, okay. Fix an issue, blah 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 blah. Fix issues. And then the others. Two characters added to the general star pool. Arthur is added to the general star pool. Cool, cool, cool. Um And then Fraudin's gen gen star pool. Uh that means Meliodas. Uh, we already knew Meliodas would not be in the general star pool, but you know. Um, I wonder when he's gonna come back because I hope it doesn't take too long for him to come back. But that is it. Interesting. The banner does not have Mon Speed or Fraudin. I guess that makes you know, whales would be summoning this banner anyways, right? So I'm guessing they are doing that so people would not you know just summon the banner and not buy the pack, the whales. I mean, so I guess it does make sense. This banner is, I say. Most people should skip because it has no new characters and all these characters you can easily acquire. I will try to skip, but I don't promise anything. It's just, the seven percent really got me. If this was just a regular two percent, I would just be like, nah. All these units, I'm gonna six six them with coins anyways. But like, I really want a six six Diomeli. I really want a six six uh, Red Escanor. Bon, uh, that's that's um, I'll be so frustrated because I know I have 6 6 go for King and the and um, Merlin. I know I'll pull them and not the other ones. I know it's just I, I know that's gonna happen, but yeah, that's it for the update. Not a big update, I should say. I was expecting more, no super boss at the end. I am actually very disappointed that there wasn't super boss at the end this week. There, what just drop her. I'm very much hoping Super Boss Dion comes next week because next week is content week. Usually we have a banner week and then content week. Um, so this is banner week, I'm guessing. So I'm really hoping next week is Super Boss Dion. We have we have this activity on GP, right? Uh, the ones I was doing I was doing before I, I quit, right? Uh, which you know, like I get a lot of play from it, but it's like just auditing, right? I want action something that I'm going to be playing. Super Boss Dion would be an activity I'll be just playing and constantly trying to get, you know, a better score and everything. So I'm hoping next week we're getting that. But um, anyways, you are here for asking me, I'm actually excited for it. Um, the, the, the two units, I'll, I'll check them out as soon as I get them. I, I'll get both of them to 80. Usually, uh, nowadays, man, if a unit doesn't look good, I don't 80 them. Uh, the new Fraudrin, well, where is him? The new green Fraudrin, uh, he's still at 60. I, I, I'm not gonna 80 him. I'm not wasting resources on bad units anymore. 
Um, but these guys, they seem very good. So I'm, I'm glad that um, we're getting new good units. And they're coin shop units, so you can get them whenever. Um, but yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching, and that's it.